Yokoso, Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Today the journey continues. Slept in a bit today, so no educational tweet today for those of you that follow us on Twitter. All the educational content will be right here on Japanese Quest Live. I'm a Japanese teacher. My name is Akira Sensei. What we do, we learn Japanese from Japanese games. The last word we were we learned is very important. Hot dog. In Japanese, just in katakana. Hot dog. Let's see if we can make that power level go up more. We learn one word. Power level goes up by one. It had to go down last time because one word I think was a duplicate. I don't know why, but let's fix that. So power level is actually 2316. Let's make that power level go down and then it can go up. NX, Ohio, Pedlan. Konnichiwa, Tebi, Hard, Ogazamas. Good morning, everyone. Let's go. So, let's look again at our uh, adventure guide. Remind us what we're doing. Boken Gaido. Boken, of course, means adventure. So, we are going back to the kingdom. Okoku ni Modori. So go back to the kingdom, and then Mamono o Tsukamaita Hokoku o Shio. So we're making a report that we captured this monster. So that is the goal today. Let's do it. Genki desu yo. How are you doing, Luzinski? Good to see you. Minna genki. Yosh, So this kingdom looks like it's about this way. Yeah, I forgot to change our title at first for this stream. At first it said, I think, the same as yesterday. Bring hype to Dragon Quest XI. But then, uh... I remind... I... I changed it to... Slept in... Let's relax and uh, learn some Japanese. Because sometimes when you're learning, it can be it can be a fun thing, it can be a relaxing thing. It doesn't always have to be something that you're, you know, doesn't have to feel like work. It can just feel like hanging out. When your Japanese exposure just becomes kind of fun, something you do for fun, and you're still learning, that's the key. And just replicate that. And repeat. Let's buy one rogue rabbit to wake us up this morning. I thought it was one rabbit, but no. It's two rabbits and a skeleton beast. Rouge! Oh, I was almost... I keep feeling like for my headphones the battle sounds seem kind of loud. I'm gonna look at our options quick. Um, so you can look at the options system settings. Shistemu sette. So Epi says they're so happy I gotta catch your stream live. Love the idea. Making a new word list for every game. Uh, no, we're not. Maybe we should be. Uh, but we're making one giant word list for uh, every game we've played so far. So the words you see at the bottom we learned in our first game, Xenoblade 2. The words you see at the top left we learned last time with this game. So that's the way we've been doing it recently. But uh, yeah, I have experimented with doing some word lists per game as well. So let's look at the sound settings here. So we want to make sure the voices are loud enough, but what I'm wondering is... Like, the voices in the scenes sound good, but the voices to me in the battle sound a little bit loud. So the BGM is already turned down. Um, the sound effects are already turned down. The voice is maxed. 
Because voice is good. We, before they were too quiet. Um. Huh. Maybe it's okay. How old is your cat? Griffin Sensei there is about 15 years old. Yep, Griffin Sensei, you can see down there, the first party member on Japanese Quest. Let's go back to the castle. Words, konnichiwa. Hello, everyone. Let's learn some Japanese from Japanese games. That's what we do here. That is our mission. That is our quest on this Japanese quest. Meal. So take a look. So our Prince Ferris, Oji, means Prince, uh, finally captured that, well we can see it here, the killer, the assassin of the desert. Sabaku no Kuroshia. Kuroshia means like hitman. Sabaku means desert, and finally was captured by who? The prince, this guy right here, and here we see the king as well. Thank <laughs> So as long as we have this brave prince, the future of this country will be safe. Some words we could add to our power level, because anyone can add new words up here where it says new words here at the top. Uh, for example, um, last time we learned hot dog because I think we had hot dog join our party members. Uh, by the way, you said I would die for Griffin, says hot dog cabo arigato. Um, yeah, it's kind of too sad I don't mention it that much, um, but actually Griffin Sensei did pass away uh, about a year ago, so Griffin Sensei did pass away. This video here, it is a loop, however, Griffin Sensei is still on this journey with us in the game, in Japanese Quest. I don't mention it that much because it's, it's kind of too sad to keep mentioning, um, but Griffin Sensei is still with us on this journey, that's why we need to keep going on this journey. Griffin wants to see new games, wants to see new landscapes, meet new people like you. He wants to eat hot dogs. He loved eating stuff like hot dogs. So the journey will continue because Griffin's still here. And uh, so where were we? Daijoubu daijoubu. Just want to let you know since you, since you made such a nice comment. Um, Sa. So please talk to the people. And yeah, so Griffin is still on this journey, and we have uh, two new kitties that we will still sometimes see live. Aki and Haru uh, were kittens that joined us last year, and we'll see them live sometimes, but they're kind of crazy. They're not around as much as they were when they were total kittens. Ooh, we got a good word. We leveled up with a new word here. Let's check it out. This is how we level up on Japanese Quest. Let's see our power up screen. We are powering up here with the power of... Tabi. The journey. Goku's been learning this kanji for a long time. A very important kanji, so I think he still needs some time to learn it. Uh, but for us, we've leveled up. A new word. Let's look it up in the dictionary, too. Yeah, you were right about that, Tebby, for sure. Um, okay, here's the word. Antai. Antai. Peace, security, tranquility. Common word, Wanikani, level 43. Good word. So let's, uh, we can press... C with the Rikai Cool, the Rikai Kun tool, copy it. We can add it. 
And good. Rikai, or the, the duplicate is working, so we can delete that. And we also learned... Ooh, do I see a new word there? Minasa no seie no chikara ni kaeru. So he's talking about everyone's cheers, everyone's encouragement. So this is a new word here. And uh, let's see if it's common. If it's not common, we might we might wait on this one. Let's see. I think it will be common though. It is. So shard of encouragement, cheering, rooting. We like to learn common words, words that are important to know. So to cheer for, seie no okuru. Sweet. So we got two new words. Power level is now 2318. Let's go back to the game. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? So power level, you can see in the bottom right. Thank you, Nappa, for reminding us. Uh, so Kono Tori Sabakuro Koroshio Taoshi. So I defeated this uh, scorpion beast here. And was able to capture it. Torairu means to capture. And then koto, koto ga dekimashita means it was able to do. So you just hook on koto ga dekiru to the uh, short form of a verb. And I was able to capture. You could just, you could make it like was able to eat. Taberu koto ga dekimashita. You could do that too. It's up to you. Yeah, he's able to capture this one. And uh, yeah, Torairu we learned, I believe, last time, did we not? I thought we added that. Did we not add that before? Oh no, we had a Tsukamaru and then Torairu. So to catch, to capture, to seize, looks good. <laughs> Yeah, Baru's nice uh, example there as well. By the way, Baru's, Yokozo, Japanese Kusui, welcome. Anyone else? Uh, what we do here, we learn Japanese from Japanese games. That's the focus. That's the focus every time. Uh, today we're, we're, you know, we're just kind of relaxing a bit as we do it. You can relax. You can uh, expose yourself to a language. And that's really when you start to learn it, when you don't think about it so much. You just enjoy it. So we're just going to enjoy it. Um, so, Kongo mo Kono kuni no oji toshite. So, as your prince, after today. So, we learned this a couple days ago. So, toshite, which means as a something. In this case, as your prince, oji toshite. Yori shoji no. So I, I will train at the night even harder. This is a word he keeps using, but I'm not sure if this is a common word, so I'm not sure if I want to add this to our power level just yet. But it kind of means like like devoted training to something. Ah, really? I think I found you from Learn Japanese. Interesting. Did someone make a post about us on Learn Japanese? I, I didn't notice that. Normally I... I I'm pretty on top of learning Japanese, but I guess not so much lately. Interesting. Was there a new post on that, potentially? Ooh, I see we powered up with the power of Kongo. Let's check that. So from now on, hereafter, good word. If you break it down, you've got the kanji for now. By itself is ima, meaning now. And then you have the kanji for after, by itself, ato, after. Um, but put them together, kongo, which means from now on, hereafter. Good word. And let's power up with it. Power up, power level is now 2320. So YouTube recommended your Harry Potter series. Oh, nice. Were you searching Harry Potter by chance? I'm wondering how you got into that. Because I have seen that one. It's one of our highest views on there. Um, S. Cage says, I found you there too. No, no. Hot Dog says, no. An old post to your YouTube. Just followed you on Twitch a long time ago. Ah, okay. Okay. Light. Konnichiwa. Good to see you. Whoa. 
Not good. <laughs> Who is this glasses guy? Um, he's just he's saying, everyone, don't worry. Um, the prince is here. He will definitely defeat this magic. Uh, what I want to say, magic. I saw the kanji for magic, and I was thinking like magic beast, because that's what the kanji says. But uh, no, this monster. So yeah, mamono, magic beast, monster, basically. Um, but yeah, by itself, ma can mean magic, or it's used in like maho for magic. So this mamono taoshitekureru. So he should defeat this monster. Cool, so Bruce says, didn't watch Harry Potter vids, just learning Japanese vids. Oh nice, you must have been going on a deep dive on YouTube and learning Japanese vids to find that uh, Harry Potter vid off some other vids, I bet. Um, but yeah, that one has gotten a lot of... Uh, Views, so it must be linked to other videos. Oh, oh, Definitely, you're right. We can be at ease if uh, the prince is here. Again, similar to the word we saw before, but here we see Anshinda. So we can feel at ease because the prince is here. Oji ga ireba Anshinda. Yeah, Sunday, that's right. Like, doing the favor of doing that for someone. Ooh, look, I just pointed at this guy. I didn't even see this guy. Look at how much distress this guy's in. He's right in front of this beast. Who is this guy? This guy's in some serious mortal danger. And look, these, like, blows from this, like, giant claw are coming, like, this close to him. Check that out. Abunayonai. This guy's some serious trouble. We better we better stop this. <laughs> we better keep going or this guy's gonna die in one of these loops. Ooh, this, this is another loop that will go forever. So if you ever want to learn the word for Prince, the, I can't even speak English. If you ever want to learn the word for Prince, this is the scene for you to do. Have you learned the word for Prince yet? I think we're good. No, we're not good yet. There we go. So what is it, my son? He says his name. He doesn't say my son, but I don't like saying his name. Uh, so he's saying, what is it? Yeah, someone with your abilities, this shouldn't be a problem. Why don't you uh, respond to the hopes of the people? So a couple keywords here. Tami, the people. And then Tami no kitai ni kotairu. So respond to the hopes of the people. Mizu, Yokozo, Japanese Questaway. We got a new party member. Let's they can join here and maybe like stand on the power level bar and they will help the prince, because the prince looks like they need some help. So let's say Mizu is here. Maybe like even they're putting their arm up to kind of comfort the prince. Prince needs some support. So we got a new party member to help us with that. Welcome. Anyone else who wants to join, you can join too. Help the prince out. <laughs> Huh? Hot dog combo has summoned a dragon. <laughs> so yeah, something we used to do on Japanese Quest, I haven't done it for a while, but since we're writing on the screen anyway, um, a dragon was summoned, so let's have this dragon summoned to help us on this battle here. So a dragon was summoned, thank you very much for the subscription. Anyone else wants to summon a dragon, you can summon them for free if you have Amazon Prime. So thank you very much for the support and the subscription. 
And here you can see this dragon that has been summoned. Um, they will help us against this beast here if we have to step in, because this prince can't do anything. We know that. We know that all too well. And uh, I forgot. Dragons have like a mouth, don't they? There we go. That's a little more dragon like. There's a dragon. The dragon has been summoned. Let's do it. And he's saying, uh, Father. Father, for me it's impossible. So he's finally telling the truth. So maybe this is the this is the kind of moment that last time Silvando talked about, some moment where he will finally tell the truth. Red Tyrant, Ohio. And so I feel like this word we keep saying, if we haven't learned this word, we could add this to our power level. This word for father. Chichiwe. Kind of a respectful word for father. Uh, is it not common? Yeah, let's look in that dictionary. Because, yeah, that may be a reason we don't want to put it there. But it, the thing is, we sometimes do add words that are not marked as common if we see them again and again in the game. And welcome to Japanese Quest. Saw a new party member there. So, Chichiue. So, father, especially used in samurai families prior to the Meiji area. So, it's kind of a traditional um, word for father. Yeah, let's use it, because we've seen it again and again in this game. So even though it's not common, for this game and for this journey, it's now part of it. And uh, let's not add it, because it's actually a duplicate. Okay, okay, fair enough. I'll turn green. Let's go back to the game. What does the scouter say about his power level? Power level's rising, but not just yet, because that was a duplicate turned green, so that's some good review. Hi. Okay, so you who is a knight. Kishitarumono. Uh, rude, konnichiwa. Was there a question that I was supposed to answer? I often miss questions. Um, but uh, hopefully people in chat can sometimes answer the questions that I am good at missing. Let's see here. Uh, interesting, so Zelda also used that. And yeah, sometimes uncommon words are common in literature. So it's all kind of relative with, with common, or not uncommon. And let's see here. So the prince is saying, Shinnen o keshite magezu. So he's again saying, this is like, this is what, this is what the, the true character of a knight is. They never bend their Shinnen, their kind of, their faith, and their uh, kunini. And they are always loyal to their country. Ooh, we see a word here. So belief, faith, conviction. Shinnen. So yeah, we have seen this one a lot too. Simply because it's in their knight's creed. In this country of knights. Okay, Ru. It's all good. I just don't understand English sometimes. Um, sometimes playing the game... Juggling chat, juggling words, all this stuff. It can be <laughs> a lot to juggle sometimes. Um, ooh, new party members too. Chalkblood. Now that is an interesting name. What could that mean? Let's think about that. New party member, welcome. <gasps> so night. <laughs> Again, he's reminding him. He's reminding him of what it means to be a knight. So no matter what adversity you find yourself in, this word here, gyakkyo, kind of means adversity. Uh, this could be a word we add, possibly. So no matter what troubling situation you find you're in, seisei dodo to tachimaka. So you will stand up to it, Fair and square. 
this phrase here we've talked about before, se se do do, basically means fair and square. Um, and so, yeah, let's let's have him do that. So, Chalk, yeah, we just restarted streaming. Um, we've been going now a little over two weeks, and we've been going every day, every weekday, for about a little more than two weeks now. So good to see you, Chalk. Japanese Quest started the first time in, I think, January 2018. But we just restarted again after a 10-month break that was somewhat, uh... <laughs> well, a lot of was going on in the world, so... We had a bit of a break. So! You are the king of the king! You want to you never watched before? Cool. Well, welcome, Chalk. Uh, I'm a Japanese teacher. What we do here, we learn Japanese from Japanese games. The key features at the bottom, you see all the words we've learned already on Japanese Quest. This is from the game Xenoblade 2, our first game. Uh, we also add new words we find in the game. Our power level goes up. The goal is to make that power level go up to power level 9,000, which is fluency in a language. So one word, power level, goes up by one, and that's really how a language works. Occasionally, we also have dragons that are summoned to bring hype to Japanese learning on Twitch. That's when people subscribe. But uh, in the context of this role-playing game, it summons a dragon, which is especially good for Dragon Quest. So he's saying, So, so you are the prince of the country of knights. Kishi no kuni no oji. So if you don't want to end up as a coward, fight. So hikyomono, coward. And then hikyomono de nakareba. So if you don't want to end things as a coward, tatakai nasai. Go, fight. Ooh, we added that word for adversity, it looks like. So yeah, adverse circumstances, adversity, looks good. Gyakkyo. Good word. And power level is now 23, 22. Let's go to our power up screen. Oh, awesome. Chuck. Yeah, we've talked before then on Discord, huh? So I made game to text. We talked on Discord and I followed you on Twitter. So I recently found out you started streaming. Yeah, we just did. By the way, everyone, check out game to text. Would you mind linking your project, game to text? Because it's just a really cool thing and I want to kind of give it a, a spotlight might say like what is the spotlight this is the spotlight it's coming out of the eyes it's coming out of the eyes of this character um so we have a spotlight here so chalk blood um creates a really cool tool you can post links i'm telling you you can people always do it's not generally done on tw twitch someone else can link it too um but you definitely can and you definitely should because I want to just give a proper uh, spotlight to that tool. So game to text is really cool and it actually works really well on this game. Um, it doesn't work really well in every game if the words don't have a good background. Like if they're just hanging like against another like face like this, it might not work so much, but it uses OCR and it's about the best one I've seen that does this. It uses OCR and the, the words in the game. And I think what it lets you do is just translate all the words and you can just look up the words with a, t with a tool like Rekiker. So it's incredibly useful because that's what you want in a game. You want to just hover over a word, you see the meaning. Hover over a word, you see the meaning. With Game to Text, you can do that. So click on it. If you uh, are not on chat right now, if you're watching this on YouTube later, just Google Game to Text, find it because it can really help you play games. And I should probably tweet about it later because it's it's very it's very helpful tool, and we may even use it here sometime or play, do a video about it because it's, it's it's that good in my opinion. I've seen a lot of similar tools, but it seems to me the best I've seen. Anyone else in chat have experience with it? It's like ITH Text Tractor. Yeah, I'm not that familiar familiar with various tools, but uh, it seems like it uses Game to Text uses a few different layers of different tools that make it very, very good compared to other ones that I've seen. Yeah, it's it's really cool. It's really cool. So yeah, good link. Check it out. Um, you can put it in the Discord too if you want. And uh, yeah, anyway, 
you have questions about it, ask about it. Glad we got a chance to spotlight that tool, because it's a useful tool. It can help people play games, and that's what this whole thing is about. Okay, so where were we? If you don't want to end as a coward, fight. He's telling the prince. Bokuwa, so... Boku means I, so as for me, what, what's he going to do? This is his moment. This is his... This is his turning point. So I am... The prince of the country of knights. Hashima Yokozo, Japanese customer, welcome. Ooh, you can just see the, the dragon peeking out from behind your name, our new party member. Welcome. So, Kishino Kuni no Oji. So, the prince of the country of knights. Kishi is knight. So, does it work for Persona 3 4? Um, yes, for Persona 4, it does work. Nice. So Bang says, Hi peeps, trying to transfer my textbook to, to a website in order to use Yomi-chan to read it. But when I use text into HTML, Yomi-chan doesn't work on the page. Any ideas? Hmm. Good question. My textbook to a website to use Yomi-chan. Interesting. Ah uh, yeah, no, Chuck, this is what Japanese Quest is all about. Um, as long as the chat is about Japanese Quest, or as long as the chat is about learning Japanese, discuss anything. That's fine. That's what it's all about. The whole pur purpose of this channel is to learn Japanese from Japanese games and to help other people do that themselves. Um, I'm a Japanese teacher, but really I want to help other people play games in Japanese. That's, that's our mission. Number one, learn Japanese from Japanese games. Number two, help you do that on your own time because it's, it's fun. And I just want to spread that passion and that energy and that fun. It makes the game more fun to play it in Japanese, in my opinion. That's what we're, that's what we're about. Extra layer of fun, extra layer of challenge. Extra layer of interest. It's kind of like hard mode, but you actually learn a language through the hard mode. That's the kind of hard mode I'm into. Sugoi. <laughs> so he's saying, Yareba, so if you do it, like you can do it, you're okay. And then, Kakui, this, this is the past form of that, so Kakui is cool, so you did well. You were cool, you fought well. It's the basic idea. So you are... いい。岸の国の王子様なんだから、いかなる時も騎士道を忘れちゃダメよ。So, E, we've learned, means good. N5 word, common word. So he's saying, like, E, do you understand? So because you are the prince of the, the country of knights, you must never forget the way of the knight. Kishido o wasarecha dame. So dame. It is dame. It is not good to forget the way of the knights, no matter what time it is. Yeah, just like Bushido, but in this case, Kishido, because it's the way of the knight. Bushido is more the way of the warrior. But yeah, same idea. Ah, 
騎士道に深い理解があるようだがそなたは一体何者なのだ<笑> So please wait You seem to have a lot of knowledge a deep knowledge of、uh, Kishido the way of the night 一体何者だ So what Who in the world are you? ただのしがない旅芸人よ。So I'm just a, a lowly traveling performer. So, Tabi journey, Tabi gaining, traveling performer.、Um, and then Tada means just, and then Shiganai just kind of means like a significant or insignificant or lowly、um, traveling performer. And I think we might have a new party member because if you look at this character, look at the character design, that's too much character design for someone that's not going to be a party member. <laughs> so, finally admitting it. The one who won the race, the one, or the one who raced the race, we didn't win, we got third place. And the one who captured the monster, it was、uh, It was Akira. Which is my name, by the way, which is why it says that. Ooh, so we learned Chichi Ue, but we did not learn Haha Ue, so mother. So, yeah, same form.、Uh, kind of a way that more traditionally you might refer to your father and mother in samurai times, and that is a kind of country of warriors, so it's an appropriate way to say it there. Exactly, hot dog combo. We got, the father, we got the father and mother combo. We've got the hot dog combo. We've got all the combos. If you learn Japanese with different combos soon, you'll have learned quite a lot. Kao agi, Faris. Wastachi wa kore made toshin dai no omai o mizu ni miyawa no juwats o ataite ita yo da na. So raise your face, Faris. I'm thinking of it like as Ferris Bueller. Anyone seen the movie Ferris Bueller now? This could be like Ferris Bueller's dad. And Ferris Bueller's now, for some reason, the prince in this country of warriors. That'd be kind of a twist for a Ferris Bueller, too, possibly. Anyway,、um, so Atashi Tachi Waso, as for us, Kore Mare Toshindai no Omaya o Mizuni. So we haven't been seeing. The true you before now. They always thought he was this great warrior.、Um, so the word here, Toshindai, kind of means like the full to life, to life scale, but it can mean like the true you. And we have been putting you under a lot of pressure. Juatsu o ataite ta. So, we've been putting a lot of pressure on you. So, he's saying it's, it's kind of our fault for putting that pressure on you. Yeah, so the one who needs to apologize is me. So, from now on, along with my wife, We will have to rethink what we've been doing. So, yeah, the, word, the key verb here, ayamaru, to apologize. And the one who must apologize, we add no to make this into a noun. So, ayamaru nakadeva ikenai no wa washira, so us. 
So we are the ones who need to apologize. だが、Okay, so that he's so he's saying Daga, but so we're apologizing, but that fight, the courage that he showed in that fight before was that was something. Um, even though you were just defending, so Bo Sen Ipo Toaye, so even though you're just defending, um, it was befitting of the prince of the country of knights. Fusawashi Tatakai Data. So Fusawashi again means like appropriate, an appropriate fight for the prince. あの勇気があれば、いつかはお前の目標であるデルカタールの猛将グリーグドノの隊にも入れるであろうな。いいですね。So he's mentioning the knight, this legendary knight is chasing us. That guy's name is Guregudono. And so he's saying someday your your uh, your dream, your goal, I guess it's not a dream, it's a goal, Mokiho goal. So your goal of joining his troop may come true if you keep up that uh that courage. Ano yuki. So if that courage got areba, if you have that courage, then someday your goal of joining that great general may come true. Yeah, I think basically it's like Greg in English, but they change it. What do they change it to in English? I forget what they change it to in English. They definitely change the name, but I think it's basically Greg in Japanese. Yeah, Hendrik in English, right? Thank you. Totally changed to a more fantasy sounding name, I guess. <laughs> Let's just enjoy this laugh screen for just a little bit longer. Just relax. It's good to laugh. It's good to laugh. I just watched the most recent episode of One Piece, and I learned a big theme of that show. It's just, it's just laughing, enjoying the journey. Sa, ishō ni waratteru. Mou sukoshi waraimashou. <laughs> that felt good. Okay. Exactly, JK Panda. Anyone else seen that most recent One Piece too? I don't want to spoil people, but yeah, laughs are pretty important. Um, and I recommend people get caught up on One Piece if they are not yet, because uh, these last ones have been good, and we're getting more towards some of the true big info towards the end of One Piece. Okay, so let's see. So, as for Greg, that General Greg, you mean the one that's been chasing us? Here's the verb for the chase. O, otekita, oteta. Yeah, no spoilers, no spoilers. For me too, I'm not, I'm not caught up on everything, manga-wise. Manga-wise. <laughs> So, Father, I do have one request. So, these people here, they seek the Rainbow Branch. They are on a, a journey to find it. Is it okay to give them this Rainbow Branch, this uh, national treasure that we have? Because they've helped us so much. Yeah, so that branch, uh, that's impossible. I just sold it to a traveling salesman. So I sold it to a traveling salesman. And yeah, Bruise, that is correct. Oh, 
れは国宝ですよ<笑>どうして売ってしまったんですか Why in the world would you sell our national treasure? バカモンなぜ今年のファルサイがあそこまで豪華にできたと思っているすべてお前のためにやったんだぞ So speaking of One Piece, this dude's voice with that like Bakamon, that kind of like emotional part, did that not sound like One Piece voice to anyone else? Yeah, I was about to say, that sounded like Buggy, right? I didn't notice it until he like did this like kind of like big voice, but I feel like he was in the Buggy range there. This this king is Buggy. I didn't notice it until now, but I'm glad I, someone else backed me up. I was gonna see, did anyone else hear it? But yeah. It's gotta be buggy, because <laughs> that was a very buggy moment where he where he said, Bakamon! That was a very buggy kind of a uh, exclamation there. Um, and yeah, those recent scenes have had buggy too, which has been cool to see. Um, yeah, I've recently been seeing that buggy voice in a different anime too, I think. What anime was I seeing that buggy in? I don't know. Just a lot of voices. Yeah, this is definitely buggy. So, really, he should have this kind of nose. Because this is Buggy the Clown. Who is now king of this country of knights. And his son, here, is Ferris Bueller from the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. How does that work? I don't know, but that's, that's the situation. Let's just go with it. Okay, so what do you see saying? Um, so, Bakamon, you fool! So why do you think the Ferris Cup was so extravagant this year? It's all for you, so he sold it for him to get the money, I guess. Subete, so everything... Omae no tami. Omae no tame. So everything was for you. I did it all for you. We got some good words. Let's level up. We see some good words there. Let's let's take a look at them. So here's our power level up screen. And we got some new words added by this unicorn that's leveling us up. We're getting powered up by a unicorn. Thank you, unicorn. Yesterday, I think, was a chipmunk. Um, today, it's a unicorn. Various animals power us up here on Japanese Quest. So we have... Goka. Wonderful, gorgeous, um, extravagant. So this year... The race was especially extravagant because he sold that uh, national treasure, and the word for national treasure is right here. Kokuho. National treasure. The first kanji is country, the second kanji is treasure, put them together. National treasure. And then, uh, motomeru. Good word. Means to want something, request something. This is a word you do see a lot just reading books in general. Another good one. Ataeru. To give someone something. So, all good words. Of course, we also learned ha hahue, which is a uh, mother, but it's kind of a more traditional way to say that. Okay, so power level is now 23, 27. Let's make that power level go up. Look at the bottom right. Power up. You can use the power up emote if you have one, because we are powering up quite a bit right now. Yoshida, what does the scouter say about his power level? Exactly, rude by itself. Takara, treasure. So He's saying, what? You sold it? <sighs> Powering up. That's right. Hot dog, red tyrant. Let's get some power up hype in the chat. We are powering up. Hmm. So sorry about that, traveler. Uh, the branch that I sold to that traveling salesman, it seems they were going west. Here's the direction. Koko Yori. So from here, Koko is here. And Yori kind of means like than, so like basically further than here. Nishi. So west of here, in the direction of Daharune ni. Mukao. Mukao means to head for. So they said they were heading for there. At the end here, to is a quote. So it makes this whole thing before it a quote. To iteota. So they said they are heading for this country in the west.
So I see Nishi showed up in New Words here, but yeah, we've learned that before. We learned all the car cardinal directions. We actually even learned the, uh, like, northwest, southwest, all those four intermediate directions as well. Uh, yeah, this kind of just makes it more polite, Bruce. Um, idiota. It's like, uh, oru in the past tense. Nice, nice, nice. So if you take this, you can get through the West checkpoint. We see this word a lot. Not a word that's super common, but we, pretty common in this game, and I think we did learn it. So, Nishi no Sekisho. So through this West checkpoint, you can cross through it with this Koeru means to surpass, to get through, so we can get through it with this key that he's giving us here. And then, so in this place, De, marking it as the place we're doing something, what do we do there? Joho o atsumeru. We can gather information. Information, joho, very important. And gathering it, here's the verb, atsumeru, gaiyoi. So let's gather some information. So just says, uh, wait, so do I just go watch people play Dragon Quest XI or learn Japanese? Uh, just, yeah, what we do here, I'm a Japanese teacher. What we do here, we, uh, we learn Japanese from Japanese games. And, uh, that's what we do. The games are fun anyway. If you add learning Japanese on top of it, it makes it even more fun. So that's, that's basically our goal here. That's what we do. The game is fun, we make it even more fun by level, we power up in the game. One word, if you learn one word in a language, your power up in that language, your power level rather, in that language goes up by one, so that is what we do. Uh, yeah, Bruce, pretty much, it's, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, a kind of a kingly, um, like, traditional type of way to say that kind of thing. But yeah, yoi means good. So basically, it is good that you do this. Okay, so we got this, uh... Nice. We got his... Book. Akira wa... Samari yo no... So we have gained this, this uh, book that you just gave us. Ooh, we got some new words. Really, Seki Show? I thought we added that. What? Have we not added that checkpoint word? I guess maybe because it wasn't common, I didn't add it. Hmm. But yeah, I think it's fair to add. But I feel like information we've almost certainly added before. So I'm wondering if, again, our, like, the conditioning getting wrong, so it's not showing as a duplicate. Maybe not. I'll have to check later. Anyway, good. We got some new words. Does anyone know anything about conditional formatting? Because for some reason, on this with being shared with so many people, the, the formatting seems to get messed up. Whereas on my other one that's not shared with so many people is not getting messed up. I'm wondering if there's somebody to automatically mess up the formatting. Um. And like when I fix it, it seems to work, but I don't know why. So if anyone's changing any settings on conditional formatting, don't do that. I'm sure you're not, but I'm wondering if, if somehow it's automatically happening. Anyway, let's keep going. In fact, we've, we've added some new words, so let's check these words too. And uh, we may not add all of them, like this one, for example. If this is not common, we may not add this just yet. Letter, note, epistle, correspondence. It is marked common, so let's add it. Okay. Not a word I've seen that much. So, shokan, a letter, note, epistle, correspondence. We have seen it a few times in this game. So, a novel written in a certain epistolatory style. Letter, paper. So, kind of a, kind of a letter, huh? And yeah, I know this one's uncommon, but it's, it's been in the game, so I do want to add that one, because this one's in the game just a lot. 
So yeah, good words. AZO. Yokozo, Japanese Customer. So let's level up with our new words. We had the National Treasure, Kokuho. We had Goka for Wondrous, Extravagant. Um, we also had Joho, Information, Great Words. We have the word for Barrier we keep seeing in this game because all these barriers you get through. Um, Sekisho. And then to get through that barrier, we need this this letter. The, uh, the letter from the king, which is O no Shokan. So power level is now 2330. <laughs> and yeah, Tegami is definitely more common, for sure. For sure. Good comment by Hashima. Yeah, and Tegami we've already added. Let's just for fun. I will show you how it's more common. We can prove it with Japanese Quest. Because these are all the words we've already learned, right? Um Te ga mi. I wrote it wrong. Te ga mi, not me. There we go. So see how it turned green? That's because we've learned it already somewhere up there. Because it is a more common word. We've learned it previously, probably playing Breath of the Wild or Zeta Blade 2. Turn green, so good review. But that's the word, more common word for letter. Yeah, this one, I'll be honest, I almost never see this word. But in this game, we've seen it a few times. And it's marked common, so we will edit. Because it's it can power up people. And that's what we do. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Scouter says we are powering up, and not just us, but uh, other people on Twitch. Maybe like lurkers are powering up. There's like lurkers behind a tree, and they're just getting stronger and stronger. It's pretty amazing. Let's keep going. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I, I did not know this about the Rainbow Branch. Please, please forgive me. Kawari to itte wa nanda ga samadhi no kishi ga tsukau. Okay, so this is this is not a replacement, but uh, please take this uh, this traditional training tool, this bow gun. Please take it. And uh, so we're getting a bow gun. It's always good to get a bow gun. You never know when a bow gun will come in handy. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break as well here. It's also a BRB. Um, but if there are any new words when he's talking about this bow gun. We could add those to our power level. And I will be back shortly. We'll take a quick break. I'll play a quick ad, and I will be back after this break. Japanese Quest will be back. Itekimasu.
Ooh, I see new words. I see some new words. It makes me so excited when I come back from break and we, we've powered up over break. Breaks are very important. You can power up in breaks. We just did. Tadaima, Japanese Quest is back. Let's go. What do we have here? Let's look at our new words. Ooh, a lot of new words. So we have... Kawari, a substitute. We have... Dento Teki. We might have learned Dento by itself, which means tradition, but... Uh, let's say we can add this too, just adding Teki makes it traditional. We have... Shugyo, which means training. And we have... Uketoru. To receive. And so let's break down what all that is in the sentence. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Nice to see. Yeah, it's very nice to see everyone helping out each other in chat and also up with the new words up here. It's awesome. We are powering up with the power of community. Leveling up each other. Yeah, really encouraging to see actually. Okay, so let's see, where are we? So, kawari toite wa nanda ga. So, yeah, kawari is a substitute, so kind of. So, this crossbow he's talking about will be a substitute for our. Um, the rainbow branch. And this nanda ga. Like, I'm not sure if this will be a proper substitute, but. Dento tekina shugyo dogu. So here's the two new words. Dento teki, tr traditional, and then shugyo training. So this traditional training tool, dogu is tool, that word we have learned. Um, this bogon, kono bogon o uke tote kure. So please take this bogon. We took the bogon, I think. Hmm. Okay. So using this bowgun, you can shoot monsters who are far away. They will get angry. Okoru to get angry. Here you see in the Tei form. Okote, so it can link to what we have here. Okote, chika yotte kuru koto ga. So then they will get closer and you can fight them. If you use it well, then you can effectively gain experience for battle. Sweet. Thank you for the bowgun. Arigato. Kakuine. Anyone have a bowgun in real life? <laughs> I kind of feel like I should have a bow gun. I did not. So, Akira wa? So, as for Akira, they do have a bow gun. Not just any bow gun. The bow gun that summons monsters. Mamono Yobi. So, Yobi is to call. Mamono is monster. It's the monster calling bow gun we have now gained. Ooh, and we get a new word too. Utsu is to shoot. So, we can shoot our bow gun. With our new verb, Utsu, to shoot. Um, so let's make our power level go up. Let's look at the bottom right. What does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is rising. Sunday says just tried game of text for this game and it works great. Yeah, it works really well for this game. I'm glad you checked it. So yeah, game to text, Google it, you can find it. Great tool for using OCR and you can sound and you can then just click and look up words. It's really, really great. Allows you to play the game without footy gun on quick lookups. Thanks for the tip, whoever mentioned it. Yeah, awesome. I'm glad that that can help some people. Okay, 
何か困ったことがあったらまたサマディに来てくれ So Chalk says, glad it works. Sweet, does work.、Um, Gil says, could you please break down the second part of the sentence? I don't understand.、Um, from context, I think it's like hit the wall. Is that a. <clears throat> is that a sentence in the game? So, kabe ni mukate means to go towards the wall. And then, omoi kiri. Would you come much to me? So, yeah, it, it seems like as, as you hit against the wall as hard as you can, basically. Ah, you saw it while playing Wind Waker. Okay. Yeah, so the Mido means to try to do it. And then、uh, if it's Mido, it means, yeah, so try hitting against the wall as hard as you can. Sounds like a Zelda situation. So, Ru says, many bow guns available for online shopping, but. I wonder if they're、uh, monster summoning bogones, though. So, Kimi Tachi ni wa honto ni sewa ni natta. So, I truly thank you for all your help. Nani ka komata koto ga atta ra. So, if you are troubled about anything, matta samari ni kite kure. So, please come here again. Yeah, really good tip. Thanks for putting it in chat too. It helps to see things in writing, not just to hear them. So often, if I say something, if it's in chat again, that's all the better. Easy tip. So, no matter when, I will, I will help you. And literally. Chikara ni naru. I will become power. I will become power for you. I will help you. Ine, seems like this prince is leveling up a bit, so that could help. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> 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 Ooh, I'm surprised this word we have not learned. Sewa. To help, aid, assistance. Often, sewa ni narimashita. Thank you for your help. It's kind of a, the way we saw it there, I think. So, thanks for adding that. 22, 30, or 2336 is our new power level. Tsiyoku natane. Ooh, we fi might finally be done with this country. Wow. It's been quite a journey. So from now, Shirubia san ni osoata yoni ikararu toki mo kishido wasurezu. So just like Sylvian taught me, or Silvando taught me, I will not forget the way of the night. Kishido. Rippa no kishi ni naruru yo. So I will train diligently to become a great knight. Lipa, great Kishi knight. And Wilko has raided with a party of 1, 2, 3, 1 23 people. Sugoi. Thank you very much for the raid. Anyone joining? What we do here, we learn Japanese from Japanese games. I'm a Japanese teacher. So if that sounds like something you're into, you can become a party member. We got one party member right there Lightning Heiwa, which, by the way, is a good name. Because Heiwa means peace, lightning means lightning, and、uh, lightning plus peace, that sounds like a good concept. Black Rock Cynic, we got two party members now. So, yeah, anyone who joins, you can become a party member on this journey. And、uh, what we do, we level up from words. We find a new word, for example, this word here has been key to this scene and this country. It's the country of knights. So, this word kishi means knight. This prince here wants to become a great knight. So he is saying, Lippa no kishi ni nararu yo shoujin shite iku. So I will train hard to become a great knight. And if we learn one word, for example, kishi, that new word can be added up here. Anyone, any one of our party members can add new words. 
If you're hearing my voice now, you can add new words. It's linked at the top of our Twitch page where it says new words here. And uh, learn one word, power level goes up by one. So anyone new here? If you want to follow, you can become a party member too. Uh, by the way, my name is Akira Sensei. I'm a Japanese teacher in the U.S. I've taught high school Japanese. I've taught some college Japanese, junior high Japanese. And uh, here we teach Japanese through games because it's one of the most fun ways to do it. So here the prince again is saying, So, so, kimi tachi ni presento shita. So we're talking about a present. You can see present here in katakana. It's a foreign word. Um, boku no bogon da ga. So this bogon we got from him. Omo zonbun sukai taoshite kurete ii kara. So yeah, you can keep using that bogon that I gave you. So yeah, Wilco, thank you very much for the stream. By the way, Wilco, what kind of uh, streaming do you do? If you stream anything related to Japanese or Japanese teaching or Japanese games, we'll definitely want to check you out and maybe raid you sometime as well. So uh, what kind of streaming does, or what game are you streaming, Wilco? I'm curious, or anyone from that stream. What kind of streaming do you do? Just curious. So nandemo jokamachi ni iru. So jokamachi here is the castle town. Playing Super Mario 64. Nice. Do you have an interest in Japanese or just happen to uh, to host this stream? So fudo kabuta. So interesting the word hood in Japanese goes more to like fudo. Kind of starting with a fu. So I do play in Japanese but unfortunately I skipped the text because I speed run. That's good though, that's good too. So yeah, speedruns in Japanese, that still gives you the feeling of getting used to the Japanese. So I often host speedrunners too, for like speedrunners speedrunning Dragon Quest, for example. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. I feel like just playing the game in Japanese, even if you're not strictly speaking studying it, if you get, even just seeing it, you get used to it. So over time, you kind of start to pick things up. You start to get the feel of it. And Dubstorm is saying he's good at Japanese. Nice. So yeah, this is kind of the opposite of speedrunning. This is more like slow running. We're slow running um, so we can learn the language, basically. So yeah, kind of the opposite of speedrunning. But in a way, kind of similar to speedrunning because like speedrunning, we are doing something kind of deeper, kind of different with the game, not a normal way of playing the game. We learn words from the game. That's what we do. We learn Japanese from the game. For example, this word's a very good word. Uwasa, rumor. And uh, he's saying if you want to hear more about this, the rumor about these things we're talking about, um, you can talk to this big person, this big man. Otoko means man, and then O means big. So, Otoko ga bogon ni kuwashi to uwasa da. So, there's a rumor that this big dude knows more about the bogon. So if you want to go out, you can talk to him. So shiro datte sugu. So if you just leave the castle right out there, you can you can ask him. And we don't always read all the words, um, especially the ones that are voiced. We pay attention to. Yeah, to be honest, this is an idea I've had. Speed running the language. Because when you speed run, you have that nice kind of a layout. You've got like that graphic, right? Of like, you've got the different checkpoints of speed running, right? So you've got like the first checkpoint. I was thinking you could do that for a language, speed running language. You could have like, for example, the wa particle, which means like the topic particle. And you could have like how fast you get to that. And you have, could have like the time. Then you could have like the ga particle, the subject particle. And you could speed run the language. I was actually thinking about this. Like, could someone somehow make, like, a, a graphic for this? Then, like, not just us, but, like, other channels could use that same speedrunning the language graphic. You could have, like, uh, the Mo particle, which means also. And then how long does it take you to find that? You could have, like, a Kara, meaning from. 
and see how long it takes you to speedrun the language. So basically, by the end of it, you'd speedrun and you'd have a foundational grammar in Japanese. You could speedrun the language. What do you think about that? Do you think that's worth trying? Do you think we could try speedrunning the language someday on Japanese Quest? So you'd need some kind of graphic to do it. So you use live split for the timer layout. Do you think something like that could be possible for like, like language benchmarks? So live, I'll have to remember that. You can download it for free. Can you like make your own indicators? Like I'm not sure how it works. So speedrun teaching or speedrun learning it. Kind of both. Like basically you'd play the game and you'd speedrun the language. Like racing as fast as you can to find this foundational grammar. So yes, it's very customizable. And uh, so yeah. I will have to check into that. It's called Live Split. Live Split. So check it out. Someone, if someone in our Discord could, could like link this tool. I want to look into it. Cause actually, this is something I've been thinking about. Because uh, we teach Japanese through Japanese games. I'm a Japanese teacher. But in a way, we have this weird thing that like only we do. We add words. It's not very replicatable. I'd like to make something that's more replicatable. And speedrunning obviously is a thing that like a lot of people do. Like what if language running, language speedrunning became a thing that other people could do? If you had some kind of some template, that could be doable. And it could kind of be a link between speedrunners, like Wilco here, who speedrun maybe in Japanese, and language streamers like what we're doing, and you could speedrun the language. And like, yeah, that could maybe be something we do, say, once a week, say, for example. And it could be experimental, maybe it wouldn't work at all, but I think to some degree it would work, and it could be a different fun way to kind of have an angle into the language. And theoretically other streamers could do it too, and even speedrunners, if they want to switch it up sometimes, they could try speedrunning the language. Um, who knows? There could be like more crossover between our teaching communities and uh, speedrunning communities. Kind of an interesting idea. So yeah, in our Discord, uh, Rue, would you mind linking our Discord? the exclamation point discord command and then maybe someone could like shout out this live split software we could look into that so yeah metal zen welcome yokozo welcome to japanese quest again i'm a japanese teacher what we do here, we learn japanese from japanese games but this has been something i've been thinking about and since we were hosted by a lot a speedrunner i could finally give it more thought speedrunning the language could be interesting i think oh no i'm past the horizon of undoing so i've got to start a new a new thing here. Here we go. Yeah, I think that could be good to try sometime. A bit of a different setup, but uh, speedrunning the language could be interesting. So here's our Discord. If anyone wants to join, we talked on there after stream as well. Ways to learn Japanese, um, interesting resources, also content in Japanese people are using, whether it's manga, games, etc. And yeah, let's link that tool there as well. Cool. And uh, let's check reviewing what we're doing in this game now. We just went through this whole kind of scene. Hinari, yokozo, Japanese customer, welcome. So one great thing about this game, you have got this uh, adventure guide that tells you what to do. Ah uh, yeah, these words at the bottom of the screen. These are the words from our previous, the previous adventure on Japanese Quest. So these words we learned from, I believe, Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So yep, all these games are from, uh, all these words are from previous games. And they have all helped us make our power level go up on Japanese Quest. And uh, for new words, we can write them up here. So basically the word at the bottom, this is our history. And these are common words, words like Tensai, Genius, Tome, Transparent, Mahotsukai, Wizard, Majo, Witch. Ooh, these ones I think we might have learned from Harry Potter in Japanese, because you have these words for Witch and Wizard. And yeah, it's OBS slideshow function. And uh, the whole goal is, anyone joining, you can find one word like Densetsu Legend. You'll see that in, like, in the Legend of Zelda. Zelda Densetsu, or in that game we saw words like Yumi, Bow, Ya, Arrow. 
I think we're just seeing the transition from Harry Potter in Japanese to Breath of the Wild Zelda. Legend of Zelda in Japanese. And uh, the hope is anyone in, in, on the stream, if you don't know any Japanese, that's fine. You can come and you can learn one word, maybe. The word for bow. Yumi. Bow. Yumi. Bow. That repetition helps. Uh, learn one word. If so, your power level in Japanese goes up by one. That's the goal. Power level go up even by just that one word. Can make your power level go up one by one word today. That's the goal. Cool. All right. So our adventure now again is to go to this new town. Machi means town. So Machi e Mukao. So we'll go towards this town. What's the town? You can see it in katakana. Daha Daharune. And it's kind of in this uh, this wetland area. Shitsugen is a wetland. And we have to go through this area that we're in right now. Looks good. Let's go. So Chalk says, is there a command to enter the word number and show the meaning? Ah, uh, there is not. That's a good idea, though. Do you mean for our power level words? Let's uh, pet a cat. Let's see if we can pet a cat. You can look at the cat. You can't pet the cat. You can pet the dogs. It's really not fair, but that's where we are. It's very unfortunate. Ooh, I remember we learned the word for skateboard the same time we learned the word for horse back in Breath of the Wild. Those were good times. You can see the bottom there. This might be the crossbow guy, the big guy he's talking about. Yeah, yep, this is the bow gun, dude. Bow gun boy, he's saying. So sometimes when you're playing Japanese games, you might not feel like reading all the words. We've read a lot of words. Let's, uh, we can kind of jump through some of this and see if we got some highlights. Watashi wa bogon da i su ki. Notice how, uh, he's got these, these marks between them because it's kind of drawn out. He really, really likes bogons. Ski means to like. It can also mean to love. But if you put die in front of it, die means big, so like a big like, big love. This guy really, 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 really likes bowguns. He is the bowgun master. Bowgun master. It's the word for master here. Ooh, we got a new word. We level up with the power of wetlands. Shoots again. Let's see how we level up to. So here's our power up screen. You can see Goku is in the uh, super gravity chamber. We are too. This is how we can power up in Japanese. In this, what do we call it? We one time had a title for it anyway. Here's the word. Let's look at our dictionary. Shitsugen. So there's another meaning. This one's not common. This one is. Marshy grassland, wetland. Shitsugen. Let's add that to our power level. Common word. If we press C on it with this uh, Rikai Kun tool, copies to our clipboard. And then we can copy it here. You can see it's a duplicate because we already had it, but now at least we know that's working. And uh, really, this word we don't have. No way. Daisuke? We don't have? Is that possible? Nebulous, welcome. So N5 word, common word, lovable, to like very much, Daisuke. If you've ever watched anime, this is like the kind of big climax confession scene. Anata no koto. Daisuke. Very dramatic. Means I love you. So Light is saying, do you think it is a good idea to question the viewers maybe sometimes? Oh uh, yeah, we often do question the viewers. We often do question the viewers. It just kind of depends on how the flow is going. Um, so JV, welcome. So here's the word for to love. Daisuke. And uh, let's add it. There we go. Uh, Light, by the way. Lightning Heiwa, what kind of question are you uh, thinking about specifically? By the way, I really like your emote. Where is that emote from? 
This is my favorite character in One Piece I see right here. Because it's bigger, I can see it. It's a Bonkle from uh, One Piece. My favorite character in One Piece happens to be Bonkle. Um, this character, I think it was Mr. Two in that arc. What was it? The, the Alabasta arc? Um, so yeah, my question will be about anime. What is your favorite anime, everyone? Or what anime are you watching right now? Because that could give us good ideas for what to watch anime-wise. And that is all good, comprehensible input. You can learn Japanese from anime, despite what people might say. You can, you can learn a lot from anime. I have. You can learn a lot from games. You can learn a lot from manga. So what anime are you watching right now? Or what is your favorite anime? Because we talked about this phrase you might see a lot in anime. Daisuki. To love. We saw this emote from anime. So right now, Laizuki is saying, I love Attack on Titan, but please no spoilers. Fair enough. Also watching Attack on Titan. So that seems like one I should watch. I watched the first season, but I, I'm starting to feel like I need to watch more of that because everyone's freaking out about the recent season. I think I might have failed by just watching the first season. So watching Jojo and Attack on Titan. Oh, so it's that part ended. Okay. Yeah, good suggestions. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level's rising. Thank you, Nappa. So I will teach you how to use the bow gun. So if there's a monster that's far away, you want to fight with them. So face them and shoot them with the bow gun. So Sono bow gun. Oh, Utsu. So shoot that bow gun in the direction of the monster. Mamono ni mukatte. So mamono is monster. Ni means pointing in that direction. And then mukao is the verb for directed somewhere. So in the monster's direction, shoot them with the boba. So Hunter x Hunter. Yeah, I did watch that. I love Hunter x Hunter. I'm a fan. Um, so what else are people watching? GTO. Nice. I do like GTO. Been watching the final chapters of One Piece. Two. Nice. So Lizaki says, yeah, I've been what um Yeah, you must be aware of spoilers. No doubt. So if you do that, if you shoot the monsters. So Sudu To. So To means if you do it. So Sudu means to do. So Sudu To. So if you do that, the monster that you shot will get angry. Okotte to get angry. Uh, kimi no moto e yatte kuru, and they will come to you. Ato wo, so after that, tatakao mo, kawasu mo, kimi shidai. So after that, fighting and dodging, that will be up to you. So Crick, host, arigato. Thank you very much for the host. So again, we just talked about mo. Mo means also. So tatakao mo, fighting, dodging. That will be up to you. Shidai means up to you. Or up in this case, Kimi is you. So Kimi Shidai, up to you. Ooh, do we see a new word here possibly? Okoru, to become angry. As expected, that's the duplicate, so turn green. But thanks for adding it anyway. Good review. So Mama says Jojo has a lot of good Japanese. I'm on part three. Nice. I'm reading Fruits Basket today. Ooh, how is Fruits Basket to read? Yeah, what manga are people reading? Yep, Mamono is Monsters. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, I've never seen. I think I saw like some of the first Yu Yu Hakusho and I read some of the first manga. Yu Yu Hakusho, but I've not really seen that. I haven't seen that much for anime. I more read books these days and play games, I guess, recently, since we've been doing this every day. We've been doing Japanese Quest every day this same time for about a little more than two weeks now. And before that, we took a break for about 10 months. So we're back into it and we're just getting to a comfort level of streaming again. It's been fun. We've been seeing a lot of new people leveling up in Japanese, leveling up in One Piece, as Data Draft says there. We talk about that sometimes. So Hard says, haven't watched anime in a while, actually. Fell out the wagon. And yeah, fair enough. I've gone like in and out of anime myself. Sometimes I more play games, sometimes I more just read books. The key for me is always doing something with Japanese every day. Whether it's a book, whether it's a light novel, whether it's anime, whether it's manga, whether it's a game. Just keeping it up, keeping it fresh, because I don't live in Japan. 
I live in the US, I'm a Japanese teacher living in the US. So the key for me is just doing something every day, keeping it fun, keeping it light, and just keep doing it. Yeah, it's gone fast, but I've, we've been streaming here now for a bit more than two weeks. So I've been waiting for you. Here we go. Hi. Get. Nani sni kitan da. Mada ore tachi ni yoga aru no ka ya. So, why did you come? Why did you come back here for? You still have something to do with us? You still have something to talk to us about? So mada means still. So mada. Ore tachi ni. So ore tachi. Ore means I. If you add tachi, it makes it wider. So ore tachi means like all of us. I guess I should say I was is for this character. So ore tachi would be all of us here. So ore tachi ni yoga aru no ka. So you still have business with us? Unboxer says I've been keeping up with several manga. Jujutsu Kaisen probably my favorite. Yeah, that's been quite good. I just got caught up on the the anime for that. Very solid. The art is very solid. もう決まってるじゃないの。私もついていくわ。命の大事を目指す旅に。そしてじゃあ新ちゃんを倒すのよ。Yeah, this is what we laughed so much about before. This character is just kind of awesome. Um, always smiling. いつも笑ってる。uh, and even we're talking about this like evil god, Jashin, evil god. Even the evil god takes Chan to make the evil god cute. This is kind of like a cute title for uh, for someone, usually if, like for young girls. <laughs> but in this case, even like this dark lord, Jashin Chan. Oh, Taos. Let's defeat this this cute dark lord. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Kami is God. And, uh, yeah, Jashin is like an evil God, basically. Yeah, it's a bit different than the kanji for obstacle. Um, and, uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm joining you on your journey. On your tabi. Tabi means journey. Keyword here on Japanese Quest because we're on a journey here to learn some Japanese. And, uh, Inochi no taiju o mezasu. Tabi. So it's a journey to find the world tree. I will join you. Oi, oi, jodan zane. Ikinari detekte nani tenda. Ore tachi no tabi wa asobi ja nenda zawa. I think we might have a new party member. Let's see. Oi, oi. Jodan jide. So this is not a joke. Jodan is joke. And uh, one thing that's a joke, we actually learned this twice on Japanese Quest. This is one of the few words that we failed and added twice, but I thought it was funny that, like, the only word we added twice was joke. And I think, like, okashi, which means funny, we added twice. So we just kept those, added twice. And, uh, but this is not a joke. What are you saying? Just you're just gonna join us now? This is not we're not just playing around. Ore tachi no tabi wa asobi janai. Asobi is to play. But we're saying this is not we're not just playing around. Asobi jane. Asobi de tsuite kukiwa nakute yo. Of course, I'm not coming around just to play around. Tabi genin to ste. So as a traveling performer, I've gone all around the world, and I've met with many different smiles. Again, this is kind of his keyword, egao, which means smile. And uh, in this case, we have lots of smiles. Takusan no egao to deyatta. 
So I met lots of smiles, and you can you can see he's being a bit serious because he's not smiling for once. Ah, um, so yeah, suite in that sentence before, like suite can mean like to come along. So I believe for that sentence it was like I will come along with you. So I saw all those smiles, but also, so demo means but. So onaji means same, and then gurai means like to the same level. So to the same extent that I saw smiles, I also saw people that were sad, people that were suffering because of monsters. Mamono, monster. Okay, so this is key. And you can see it. This is key to this character. So Yume means dream. So Atashi no... You may want it. So my dream. My dream is to create the world's greatest hall. To have a great show. And to make the, the people of the world laugh. So Sekaiju. People all around the world. Hitobito. What I was to To make all the people around the world laugh. That is my goal. But not just that, to also make a great hall. Horu o tatete. And not just any hall. Sekaiichi. So ichi means number one. Sekaiichi means number one in the world. And with the adjective, we have oki. So the biggest hall in the world. Make that. Have a great show. Make the world of people, people of the world laugh. That is my dream. Atashi no yume. Some good words here too, we added. Um, what is this yo all about? We see a yo there. <laughs> let's stop put English in the first line there. <laughs> Alright, let's see uh where were we? Demo Minakara ego to su Jashin Changaitara Sono Yumemo Kanawana Kanarjanai? But if there's this evil lord, this dark lord that takes people's smiles, that dream will never that dream will never come true. <laughs> so in other words, So da Ka-ra. So because of that, in other words, your goal for traveling is the same as my goal for traveling. Mukteki means goal. Tabi means journey. So the goal for our journeys is the same. Yep, so this Mukteki, this Mukteki, so my goal, your goal is the same. Is what he's saying. So he's saying, I'll, yeah, I'll be joining you. Yatta, new party member. So this is what happens when there's a new party member. Shirubiya ga nakama ni kuowatta. So we got a new party member. Sweet. Nakama means friends or party members here. Awesome. Yare yare. Aikara's going the atsase. Yare yare. Kind of means like, uh, oh brother. Oh well. As always, you are a fairly pushy person. Pushing our way, your way into our party here. Then? 
あなたたちとりあえずこれからどうするのそうで、kind of means like, so what now? What are we doing?、Um, so from now on, what are we gonna do? Inot no Taiju no Kagito no Nijiro no Eda. So my dao tennis to show him what the da harune no Machini Koka to my mas. So I was thinking we would follow the person that has the rainbow branch. That traveling salesman will follow them to this town here. Machi means town. So Machi ni iko ka to oimasu. So I was thinking we'd go to that town. Namaste, konnichiwa. Light, Nami chuan. Why are we talking about Nami chuan? <laughs> You're sounding like Sanji. Nah, no, 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 no. Demo, a so qua minato machi. Mo, freni not the umini de teru kamo ne. So stara, do at the old smori kashita. So, Naruhoro, I see. But, again, we see demo, which means but. So, but that town is a port town. So, minato means port, machi means town, put them together, port town. Uh, so, they might have already gotten a boat and left in, onto the sea. If that's the case, how will you follow them? So, doyate means how. Doyate. Otsumori. So, how do you intend to follow them if that's the case? So, the kanji after note, are you saying this one here? Umi? So, they will go out to the sea. Namaste, the game's going really well. This is a great game for learning Japanese because there's a lot of voice lines, a lot of furigana, and、uh, it's just a really good game. Those are some of the key things that you want. Especially for a channel like this. Yeah, if that's the case, I guess we'll just need to find、uh, a ship. So, dame dame, if you just take like a normal ship, you will,、uh, it will take too much time. You'll never be able to catch them. Well, then what should we do? Sultan says, hey, we have an anime channel and we did reciting to your stream. Really? That's awesome. What does that mean exactly? You did reciting to our stream. Yeah, check out their YouTube. We have an anime channel. We did reciting to your stream. I'll have to check that out. Thank, thanks for the link. And、uh, by Selton, follow. Arigato. Thank you for joining our party member. Our party members. We've got a new party member here. They are a Sultan, which is appropriate because we're kind of like in a desert country here.、Uh, they've got a king already. Now they've got a Sultan. Did you play Crown Trigger? We did not, but we probably will. I got it recently on,、uh, on Steam. Oh, it's not a good link. Okay. Good to know. If it's not a good link, then don't click on the link. <laughs> In any case, welcome, Sultan. <laughs> We like Sultans, even if they pass out bad links.、Um, I'm imagining a Sultan that, uh. Yeah, they're kind of a tricky Sultan. Sultan that maybe is voiced by the character, the voice actor for Buggy the Clown, much like the king here. Possibly.、Uh, Bonnie Trouble, welcome. Hajime Mashite. Yeah, any new people? I'm a Japanese teacher. My name is Akira Sensei. We teach Japanese from Japanese games. That is what we do. Yeah, thanks for search, search, searching that out.、Um, but I guess that means we're getting some viewers, so that's good. So if you go by boat, then you should be okay. Jibun tachide jiyuni. So the key here is jiyu. To be free. Then you can freely use a boat. That's what we want. Jiyuni tsukairu fune. So a boat you can use freely. Fune means boat. Good words. So, atashi ga motteru fune. That's right, the boat that I have. 
I have a boat. Really? We got a new party member, and our party member has a boat. Not bad. Sugoi. Awesome. As expected, you are not a normal person. You got a boat. Sweet. Yeah, it's true hard selection. A lot of princes and sultans in this land you cannot trust. That's just the reality. Oh, Chalk, there's a clothing brand that uses Jiu. I don't know about that one. Interesting. Yeah, when I hear that word, I kind of think about myself, because I feel like for me, GU is kind of my number one important virtue that's important in life, for me and for other people. Like, being GU, having a sense of feeling free and doing what you want, that's kind of what it's all about, and it's kind of what it's all about when you're learning a language as well. So she's saying, Sonofune, can, can we really borrow it? This word here, kariru, is to borrow. And then again, fune is boat. And uh, we've actually leveled up quite a bit. Let's make sure our power level goes up too. Let's go to our power up screen. We've got some new words here. Doin, which means overbearing, pushy. So this new character just pushed their way into our party. Kind of, They're kind of pushy. Uh, so let's power up with all these words. Ooh, we also got... Let's scroll up a bit. So, nerai, aim, day out, to meet. Um, sekaichi, best in the world. Seidai, great. A lot of good words. Power level is now 2344. Tsuyoku power level is rising. Here on Twitch. Here on Japanese Quest. Let's do it. So of course you can borrow the boat. We're Nakama. So in that case, Atashi no Fune, so my boat, where it is moored, where my boat is, let's go there. Daharune ni iku. Let's go there. Yep, power level is rising. Not quite over 9,000 yet, but we're getting there. Daharune wa koko yori nishi. Sa, shupat! Sweet. Let's go. From here, west. Nishi. And then shupatsu. Means kind of to embark. So let's go on this journey. Rooney Do, welcome. We got a new party member, and we know where we're going. Ooh, and now we can see how to change party members. So if we have five, we can switch to the four that we're currently using. And Memba Irekai, that means to change members. So now that we have Sylvian, we got five members, and if you can change the screen you can choose who is your party member basically we don't always read all the tutorial stuff I recommend if you play a game in Japanese don't read every single Japanese character always unless you like to uh, read when you feel like it when it seems especially important to and uh, Sanso welcome to Japanese quest anyone else joining what we do here we learn we level up in the game we also level up from words we find one Japanese word, for example, this word, maybe. Kyori means distance. And then uh, we can make our power level go up. The words we've already learned, you can see down here. Words like kagaku, science. Yado, in, we learned back with Breath of the Wild. So, kanari kyori mo aru. So there's quite a distance until we get to this town. So please use this. Sylvian is saying. Oh nice, new word. So we did level up with the power of distance.
。Ooh, nice. Akira, Uma Yobi no Belu o Te ni deta. So now we have a bell to call horses. Uma is horse. Yobi is to call. Put them together. Uma Yobi. We have a horse calling bell. Not bad. We got a monster. We have a monster calling bow gun and a horse calling bell. We're nicer to horses than we are to monsters. Makes sense. Uh, well, we often say good morning because it's morning around here, so you could say, "Well, I was that because I'm off." That's an option. And yeah, in chat, you could other give give other good suggestions as well. All right, so. If you're out of the town or a cave, then if you ring this bell quickly, your horse will come. There are places you can't use it, but it's very convenient. Totemo benli, very convenient. Benli is convenient, but you cannot use it in towns. Machi, you can't use it. Dokutsu caves, you can't use it there. So I received it from the uh, the leader of this, the circus troupe. Akira-chan ga motte ta hou ga kore kara no tabi de yaku ni tatsu to. So I think it'll be more useful for you though, for the journey ahead. Again, the phrase for it to be useful. Yaku ni tatsu. So this bell will be useful for the journey ahead. それじゃあ改めて私の船を取りに行くために西にあるダハルネに向かいましょう。So let's go to this town. Find my ship. So how far are we in the game?、Uh, that's a good question. We are not that far in the game.、Uh, we, we, the demo for this game was really long. We passed the demo probably in like 35 hours. So we, at least we did the demo. So、uh, we have five party members, which is some progress, but not that far in the game. Ooh, I see some new words too. So Damcho, leader of a, a group, in this case is the leader of the circus, added to our power level. Nice. So we're up to twenty three forty seven. We also added Idekai to replace, in this case, to replace party members. Nice. So a kid is in the party.、Uh, yeah, it looks like a kid, but just got shrunk basically with magic. Yo. 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 Konnichiwa. Anyone know the word for rabbit in Japanese? Because we see some rabbit creatures here. Yeah, for some reason, this is a word that everyone seems to know.、Uh, I learned it actually when I was a kid from Ninja Turtles, because there's this character Usagi Yojimbo. Yojimbo, by the way, means bodyguard, so like rabbit bodyguard, basically. And here we see the word Usagi in katakana, rabbit. And here we see Usuto Usagi. So we've got like a A rabbit thief. Ah,、uh, you learned it from Sailor Moon. Nice. Tora. <laughs> Wilco, Ja, Matane. Thank you again for the.、Uh, thank you again for the raid. I'll see you later. <laughs> It is time to power up in the game. It is time to power up in Japanese. That's what we do. <laughs> you level up in the game by fighting monsters, and we level up in Japanese by—I wouldn't say fighting words, but it's kind of more of a dance. 
a dance with words. All right, so now where are we going? It looks like probably, I think we're going to this Sheets again? Yeah. This wetlands. Daha da shits again. So let's head there. Which would be this direction. Sa. Ikimashou. Nihongo de game de. Boken shimashou. Let's go on an adventure in the game, in Japanese, in English. Some people here are learning English too. We can level up in many different categories. It's a win-win. Win. We're making progress. Ooh, and power level is now uh, 2347. Wow, we've gone up, I think, over 100 this week. This game has so much language in it. Cactus. Anyone remember the word for cactus? We learned this a few yeah, weeks ago. I think. Paper cat. We got a new party member. They are a paper cat. Yokozo. Japanese customer. Yatta level up. Rebriga Jugo Kara Judo Kuni Agatta. So we level up to level 16. Nice. Let's see, do we need points for anyone? Yeah, probably for Sylvian. Although we're not using Sylvian at the moment. Ah, uh, yeah, light. That is one way to say cactus. You can say it, I believe, with katakana. Um, but the way we learned it is the Japanese word for it, not the uh, katakana for it. Kakutasu. I think that's in the dictionary too, though, when we checked. I think we still don't need the points. Yeah, Mama Luigi, I think you have it. Saboten, cactus. Good word. Considering we're fighting cactuses here. We're fighting rabbits, we might as well learn the words for cactuses and rabbits, so what is this guy about? So this guy seems to be a brownie. You can see in Katakana the name there. Brownie. Brownie. So we've got a brownie, A, B, and C. And we can attack them. This is the word for attack. Kogeki. Let's do it. Yosh. Nice block with our shield there. Yatta kachimashita ne. So someone mentioned uh, asking questions to chat. There was a game we did one time. I feel like doing a short version of it right now because we've got some new party members. Um, there's a game we played once before. And on this journey, it might be fun to play a little bit of it. Uh, the game is called Robot Wars. And the way the game works is we got two robots. I'm going to just do very simple ones. So we saw a cactus. Let's make one kind of cactus robot. So we've got kind of a cactus here. This can be a cactus. Um, kind of cactus arms here. Here's a cactus arm. We've got some, maybe a cactus eyes here. We've got some spines. 
And we also had a, ro a rabbit, didn't we? So over here, on this side, let's kind of have a rabbit. And get some eyes on this rabbit. Let's get a nose. Do rabbits have whiskers? I don't know. The main thing I know about is the ears. <laughs> I don't think I'm great at drawing rabbits. Okay, so we got our two robots. And these robots will do battle just a little bit. And uh, we'll have a kind of power bar for each rabbit. They'll have three hit points each. So this will be a very short game. Here's the three hit points. And the way we'll ask it is I'm going to look through words from our power level. I will ask the word. And whoever writes it in chat first, uh, they will kind of do an attack for that monster. So we have a rabbit, which is... Usagi, and we have Saboten. And so why don't we have the Saboten be the the early alphabet. So we'll be like A through L and then M through Z will be here. And so let's see who wins. Okay, are you ready? Nope. So I will say the word. This one you will have to write in Japanese. So similar to when I asked what the word for cactus is, someone wrote saboten. That would be the winner, whoever writes that first. Are you ready? Yes, nope. got. Okay. So I'll start with kind of an easy one. So what is the word for rain in Japanese? What's the word for rain in Japanese? For example, it's raining. What's the word for rain in Japanese? So I see first Ame, and I see it from Chalk, is the first one I see in chat. So that means the A through L team gets that attack. We've got the power of Rain is now attacking this rabbit. And so they take some Rain damage here, you're seeing. And so that rabbit will take some damage from the Rain, and that damage will stay kind of here, this Rain damage. Um, and now it takes away one power bar there. Sweet, so the first attack. The, the uh, cactus now is going to get a, little, a bit happy. They got the first attack there. Let's do the next attack. Are you ready? And uh, yeah, I'm going to say... What do you think? Should Romaji be okay or should Romaji not be okay? What do you think? Romaji good or only Kana or Kanji? What do you think in chat? Let's have a quick vote on that. Is, is Romaji okay or no? Yes or no? Height or EA on Romaji? Romaji okay? I'm okay with old Romaji. But it, it could just it change it a bit. Okay, well, let's say Romaji is okay. So Kana's okay, Romaji okay, whichever one is fine. Romaji just means you can you can write with English. That's fine as long as you got the word. Okay, next one. So a bit trickier. So this time... So in Japanese, what is the word for desert? Desert. What is the word for desert in Japanese? Relates to where we are right now. We're in a desert. What's the word for desert? Ooh, I see Sabaku. Sabaku came out quick. Uh, chalk's a bit different. That's not desert. That's more, I think, like uh, for beach. Yeah. Sabaku, desert. Sabaku, desert. And I think that came from the rabbit this time. So now we have a desert attack. Imagine this is an attack like from One Piece, from Crocodile. We got a sand attack. It's ironic that the uh, this cactus is being destroyed by the very desert that created the sand. It's ironic, it's sad, but it's the truth. So we are now one and one. Okay, the next word. Let's see if we can make this thing interesting. Um... So what is the Japanese word for... I'm trying to think, what should we do? So there's something I see on screen that could give you a hint. What is the Japanese word for cloud? I see clouds on the screen, what's the Japanese word for cloud? You can see the clouds. Pedland has it! Just barely beat hard selection. So again, we have a cloud. This very cloud right here sticks its hands down 
and punches this cactus in the face from the cloud. We got more damage on this cactus. And one hit point remaining for the cactus here. Yep, leg is part of it though. Leg is part of... Uh, the leg gods are part of this battle as well. Okay. So let's do one more. This one I think anyone can maybe get. So. You might have heard some sounds. Right now, the kitties are going crazy. So what is the word for cat in Japanese? The word for cat in Japanese. Cat wa nihongo de nanto imasu ka? So Nav has it. Neko. And Nav is... On the cat team, too. Very close with Light getting it there, too. But uh, first we see Nav, so we have a cat. Griffin Sensei appears from beyond the grave. Spoiler alert, if you didn't know, Griffin Sensei here did pass away a year ago. But they are still on this journey, so they can still be in this battle. So Griffin Sensei reaches out from the Rainbow Bridge and slashes this cactus. And this cactus is slashed in half because that's how powerful Griffin is. Griffin is still here on this journey and is part of this journey. Sorry, cactus. You are destroyed. And the winner is the rabbit and the cat. We have won the day, but they are healed. Don't worry. It's okay. Good battle. And I think we will end the stream there for today. I will say ja. Matane, Japanese quest will continue. Great battle there with Robot Wars. Uh, it was very close. We'll have to try that again sometime. It's a kind of fun way to end stream there. So I will say, Ja! Matane, see you next time. Japanese Quest will continue. Uh, all the new party members, welcome. Uh, Light, Red Tyrant, Lazinski, Pedlan, Ja! Bonnie, see you again. Um, again, if anyone else wants to join, I'm a Japanese teacher. This is what we do every time. We learn Japanese from Japanese games. That is what we do. So Queen, Kneecap, White-Eyed Wolf, new party member. Nice. We have a rabbit, we've got a cactus, we've got now a wolf. Let me do my best drawing of a wolf. I've done better. That's not my best ever wolf. Wolf have you they have ears, right? This is a wolf. They've got claws though. Check it out. Scary wolf claws. We've got a wolf, new party member. Welcome. So yeah, anyone else? If you're watching on YouTube in the future, um, join us live on Twitch every day, 9 a.m. Central Time, every weekday. This is what we do. Find one word in the game, level up in Japanese. We level up in the game, and we level up in real life in Japanese. So, ja, matane, see you next time. Let's see who we should raid, though. We got a good raid earlier, and let's raid someone. Let's pass it on. Let's see who is learning um, in Japanese. We like to, to rate other Japanese streamers, other Japanese teachers. So let's do that. Let's see who is streaming right now and who we can raid. We can pass this raid forward. So right now, I think some people are streaming. So who is streaming right now? We've got some people playing Monster Hunter. We've got some people playing... Ooh. Nice. Ryuga Plays is reading One Piece. They know how to get a host from us. Let's... Let's raid Ryuga Plays. They are right now studying Japanese, reading One Piece. Awesome Japanese study time. Let's host them. It looks like they are literally reading the manga. Which is awesome. And we got a new party member. Bobby, welcome. Anyone else new, feel free to follow us. Um, if you subscribe, it summons a dragon. Also good. If you have Amazon Prime, you can, sub you can summon dragons for free. Also recommended. And uh, yeah, let's host someone else that's teaching Japanese and studying Japanese on their channel. So let's go to Raid Channel. Let's type in Ryuga Plays. And they right now have four viewers. Let's help them get a few more. Start, starting right now. 
So let's join the raid. Let's make this a big raid and let's freak them out with a lot of viewers since we get a lot of people from that raid before. Let's pass these people on to them. Let's see if we can get up, up to 100. We can get more people joining. Sweet. So Japanese quest will continue. Ciao. See you next time. Same time tomorrow, Japanese quest will continue.